Good morning, afternoon, evening, in this case may be, and you're part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Don Archer, and uh, this is just a kind of a quick update. It is currently 1.41 a.m. in the morning, Saturday, December 6th, my birthday, and the day of the North Coast 2 gathering. So the reason I'm up is I'm kind of doing all those little things that you have to do before something like this. I'll probably get a little sleep later on. But I wanted to kind of tell you what's going to be happening today, starting today at noontime. Um, and so I have my flyer up here, and let me tell you about this. The North Coast 2 gathering, December 6th through the 7th. Yes, it's two days. Um, and we're not really doing all that kind of big special stuff. We really aren't. Um, probably the biggest thing that we're going to do is at noontime, we're going to meet at the Cleveland Metro Park Chalet which is a little building with a double fireplace inside so you get all nice and cozy warm and outside has a double two count them double refrigerated toboggan run that is 70 feet long so uh, we're gonna go there and we're going to it's like eight dollars in order to to ride as many times as you want to we're gonna belly up our eight dollars and we're gonna go sliding down a hill a whole bunch of times some people are already in the area. They've given me a phone call and said, hey, I'm here, I'm in my room, and you know, let's party. Um, uh, and they mean today, not last night. But uh, So some people are here. So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over there. And we're going to be there probably from noontime until about somewhere around 3 o'clock. Now, the reason that I picked that is, first of all, I think three hours of going down a slope at 55 mile per hour on a board it's probably enough of that so also I know that in a lot of the hotel rooms and motel rooms you can't you can't um, sign in until three or four o'clock so around three or four o'clock we're gonna give everybody an opportunity to go over to their hotel room get signed in you know kinda get relaxed change clothes if they need to because it, it will be in a cold environment but from there we're going to be going to much warmer environments we're gonna be indoors so this will give everybody the opportunity to do that. Then at uh, between 4 and 5.30, we're going to go over to one of my favorite coffee shops called Seekers. And uh, we're going to hang out and just, that's it. We're going to hang out. We're going to have some coffee and some scones and just a whole bunch of sitting around and, and just enjoying one another's company and videotaping. I mean, after all, when you come to a gathering, isn't meeting the people the whole purpose? So that's what we're going to do. Then later on that evening, after 5.30 or so, um, we're going to be heading over to Buffalo Wild Wings, also known as BW3, and get us some great eats. There is, for those of you who are beef lovers, there's hamburgers and ribs and, and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, it's a chicken place where you can get all kinds of chicken tenders, chicken fingers, chicken lips, I don't know, uh, whatever. But uh, they have got some great food, um, nachos, and all. Oh, just oh, it's just great. Anyway, we're all gonna go over there. We're gonna hang out there from six o'clock until I figure about nine, nine thirty, or even later, perhaps. Um, you can also, it's a bar and grill, so you, beer's available and alcohol's available. You can drink a little bit, um, have some fun, relax, kick back, and enjoy the environment. There are TV screens everywhere, so if we bore you, there's something else to watch. <coughs> So that's from 6 until 9 o'clock or whenever we get that we decide that, that we'll break up. That's what we're going to do. Then after that, everybody can just relax. We can get together in hotel rooms and, and have our own little private gatherings if we'd like to. Or just go, go back to your room, go to sleep, relax, and get ready for the morning. The morning, Sunday morning, that will be tomorrow morning, at 8 a.m., we're all going to meet in one central location, and we're going to announce that location once we get everybody together uh, on Saturday. And so we'll all, get, we'll all gather together, and then we'll take a little ride over, very short ride, to a place called Spud Nuts Donut Shop over on Prospect in, uh, I think that's in Berea, Ohio, and uh, get some just excellent donuts for breakfast. We're going to be having, um, they're all made out of potato flour. I don't even know, understand how they do that, but they make flour out of the potatoes, and then they make donuts out of that, and they are just good. So we're, we figure uh, that's going to be somewhere between 9.30, 10 o'clock. We'll hang out, and then, of course, 
in, if you're going to be going home on Sunday, you're going to need to check out of your hotel room. So we've got it set up so that at 10 o'clock, we'll pretty much be done with breakfast. You can go ahead to your hotel room, relax a little bit, get your stuff together, get your car packed, get checked out of your room. And then, for those of you who are not heading home right away, if you'd like to, to, to end the thing with a bang and get your belly full for on the road, we're going to go over to Bob Evans' restaurant. We're going to hang out there together and have a, have a breakfast and, uh, I'm sorry, a lunch and uh, just all kinds of good eats, whatever you want. Just, and we're just going to hang out there until people slowly say they had enough and go home. And then uh, Tara and I will be editing video and getting up, get it up for you as soon as we can. So that's our schedule. Also, um, on the flyer, for those of you who, who have downloaded it, um, you will find that that flyer contains my phone number. So if you get lost, or if you're somebody who hasn't really scheduled to come but decided that, hey, guess what, you can make it, you got my number. When you get into this area, just give me a ring. I'll talk you right in to exactly where everybody's at at the time. So even if you have an RSVP and you'd like to come, if you're in the area, Come on, you're welcome. Just give me a call. I'll talk you in, and we'll hang out. Uh, so uh, that is the plan. Uh, there's a map in the schedule that shows you all the different places that we're going. They're all pretty much centrally located, all close to the highway, both to the Turnpike and to uh, Interstate 71. So easy to get to. If you happen to be flying in, or if you have flown in, there is a. Uh, we are about 10 minutes from the Cleveland Hopkins Airport and most of the hotels in the area have a airplane shuttle so you don't have to worry about somebody picking you up you can just take the shuttle from the airport to your hotel if you you know call them up reserve a room and take the take the uh, shuttle over there so that's the itinerary that's what we're planning and uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody I know that a couple of people are here already Rob Robbins I'm sorry yeah Rob Robbins is uh, packing his bags Pam is already in town and, and hanging out, and uh, Tara's already called me about motel rooms and stuff like that, and uh, me, I need a shave and a shower and put a couple things together. So, come on, have some fun, and if you're not coming, just remember, this is going to happen again next year. We're going to do something all totally different next year, and you're invited early. So, mark it down your calendar towards the end of the year next year will be North Coast 3. Until next time, as always, you be well, and we'll be looking for you.